Hey everyone, Mayfree.Shine here, and welcome back to Skylanders Remastered Reviews. Today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be taking a look at... Wrecking Ball himself, Mr. Unpopular. So, um, let's start off by reading his backstory, as we always do. Wrecking Ball was once a tiny grubworm about to become the main ingredient in an old wizard's cauldron of magic stew. But when he was dropped in, the wizard was shocked to see the little grub devour all of the soup and emerge from the cauldron 20 times larger with a long, sticky tongue. The poor old wizard was even more surprised seconds later, when Wrecking Ball proceeded to swallow him whole. Eventually he ran, quite literally, into the powerful Portal Master Eon, who was intrigued by how he came to be and impressed with his unique abilities. So pretty much Wrecking Ball murdered a guy, and Eon said, That's cool. You can be part of the Skylanders. Fun. Anyway, abilities. Tongue Wrap. Slap enemies with your super tongue. Force Field Ball. Summon magic for a spin force field charge. Spin force field charge? So let me try that again. Summon magic for a spin force field charge. Force Field Ball. Alright. Magic Ball Control. Force Field Ball can be controlled and it does increased damage. Power Belch. Press B to release a barb attack. Tongue ev evolution. Your tongue grows longer and does increased damage. Digestive detonation. Hold B to charge up your burp attack. That's a great image, by the way. Lightning tongue. Your tongue. Your tongue. <laughs> your tongue can attack quicker than ever. Tongue grabber. Tongue does extra damage and can pick up food and power ups. And tongue supermax. Your tongue grows even longer. Enemy slurp. Can can swallow small enemies. Requires soul gem and quicksilver vault. Alright, as you can see, we kind of sped past that, because let's just get on to... I just, I just want to play the game, you know? Let's, let's just play the game. Let's just pl play Lair of Chaos while rambling, as usual. So, a uh, little thing about, about Wrecking Ball that people might not know about me. I am in the unpopular zone where I actually really like Wrecking Ball. I think he's fun. Like, as you can see, if you watch the worst lock, he's not my least favorite at all. That would be Voodoo, at least from the magic element. And then, like... I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, um... I think Wrecking Ball, Spyro, and Double Trouble are all, are all kind of the same rating for me. So if you've watched the previous episodes, you already know what I'm gonna rate Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball? Oh, okay. You already know what I'm gonna rate Wrecking Ball, so... Look at that, that was super speed. So... What's been going on? I have no idea. Pretty much, this week has been me going to school, and now staying there until, what is it? 5 p.m. because I'm studying for my exams, so we stay there for a way longer than usual. Oh, I can I can just do this. I don't need the gate to be open. Who needs the gate to be open? And I can just do this. All right, cool. Wait, well, excuse me. Fine, I'll bother you. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I. I've been tired this week, because I'm recording this on a Saturday, just to, I record my videos on Saturdays, so, but there's some context for you. I've been tired this week, hence why I haven't uploaded at all. You're watching this on, at least I've uploaded this on a Tuesday, I can only assume you're watching this on that Tuesday that I've uploaded it on. Okay, I'm getting beaten up, okay, this isn't good. Alright, just up. Alright. I was I I sometimes just attack both of them. They're really random. Um I'm still on my Ben 10 obsession. That hasn't passed. I'm waiting for it to pass and it's just still like I went I went downtown today and I bought a uh, a Ben 10 game for the DS for two pounds, and there's two others there that are, all, that are also two pounds. So in the two, 
in the two following summoning weeks I'm going to get back. By the way, let me know in the comments, would you be interested in me doing like videos on DS games? Well, 3DS games, I have a 3DS. Because like, I need the 3DS capture card. But I'm not going to buy one until I know that people would actually want to see it. Would actually want to see me play games on my 3DS. Because I have, I have a, a cool, I have some cool games. I have Pokemon Sun and Moon. I have Pokemon Platinum. I have Smash 4. I have Ben 10, like I told you. I have Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, which is interesting. I have Sega Superstars Tennis, if you want to see that. Plus, like, I can, we can add 3DS games to the, to the Make 3.0 Shine Game Night Deluxe Roundup. So, let me know in the comments if you, if you'd like that. Because if, if a lot of people want it, then I will look at look into how much a 3DS capture card costs. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, Corona. I'm joking. I don't think I have Corona. I can, I can still s smell and taste fine. So, I think we're good for right now. Ah, uh, God. Um, what else can I talk about? YouTube. YouTube, I'm kind of... I'm not hitting burnout. At least I hope I'm not. Um, but right now, it's kind of I'm kind of in a phase where I don't know how to manage me studying for school and me, like, you know, providing entertainment for you guys. Because, like, I... I could put all my time into school and probably hear, like, and probably like get great, incredible grades, or I could entertain you guys and still probably get really good grades, but I'd still probably manage to squeeze in some time to study. But that's the entire reason that we're staying behind in school now, it's just so we can study. So I don't know. It's difficult to manage school and school and YouTube life. Either or it's just my laziness. I don't know whether it's my school stuff or whether it's just me being lazy, but I've been, been unmotivated to do YouTube. I'm, I do right now think that my channel, if I, if I do what I'm, if I do all the series I'm planning on doing, which the series I revealed in my direct aren't actually the only series that I'm, planning on doing ever like I do plan on doing other series so uh, yeah um, we have Monday which is make us not make us a game uh, Gabe vs aliens I love Gabe vs aliens I love make us awaken forms I love Gave us aliens. I'm pretty much just gonna love anything, but with that kind of format, but like you get you get some good reactions, you get some good laughs. I get to show Gabe all the cra the crazy world of Ben 10, just like he got to show me the crazy world of Ring of Heroes. Uh, Ring of Heroes revamp is gonna come out, which is gonna be sick. Um, but yeah, gave us aliens. We've recorded Ultimate Alien, which should have gone up yesterday for you. So if you haven't watched. Gabe vs. Aliens, I recommend going to watch Make Us Awaken Forms first, and then going to watch Gabe vs. Aliens. Because even if you don't like Ben 10, like, I know that's a thing where it's like, I don't know, Ben 10, why am I gonna watch this? But you see, the magic of it is that Gabe doesn't know Ben 10 either, and that's the entire point of the series. So, like, maybe it's like I'm not only teaching Gabe, but I'm teaching other people, which would be cool. Like, I don't know how many Ben 10 fans are out there now, like, outside of the, outside of, like, reboot fans and stuff, because I know there are a lot of reboot fans, and most of them are just kids, because it's what the show is named now, obviously. 
Uh, contrary to most Ben 10 fans, I don't actually hate the reboot that much. I hate the... I hate the Stinkfly redesign. That's, like, my one big... My one big issue of the show, and then everything else I'm, like, okay with. So, like... I'm not one of those Ben 10 Gen 1ers where, oh, I only like the original. Like, the original Ben 10 isn't even my favorite one of them. I love Ultimate Alien. Not even just Ultimate Alien. I think Alien Force might actually be my favorite. Because, like, I think those, those are the ones that I mainly grew up with. Like, don't get me wrong, I watched the original Ben 10 and I loved it. But I mainly grew up with Alien Force and Ultimate Alien, which is... I know it's strange because, you know, um, Alien Force and Ultimate Alien were more, were more aimed towards teenagers than children, but yes, that is the one I grew up with, so what are you doing? So, like, I don't know why I grew up with that, with both with those two, I just did. I love making Ben 10 content, I know that it doesn't get that much views, but uh, I definitely do enjoy making it. No, I'm not going to say I enjoy making it over other content, but I do definitely enjoy the occasional times where I make it. Alright. Let's, let's go to the other path then. Using my Series 2 Wrecking Ball. Uh, let's see, what do, we, what do we have here? Force Field Blast. While in your Force Field Ball, press X to create a Force Field Explosion. Swath of Terror. Force Field Ball is larger and does even more increased damage. It's gotta go somewhere. While in your force field ball, press B to create a powerful burp attack. Also, I will say right now, you can disagree with me if you want, but... Oh, what? Okay. Okay, Wrecking Ball. You can disagree with me if you want, but let's all be honest. Wrecking Ball is literally just the Skylanders version of Upchuck. Uh, am I wrong? I don't feel like I'm wrong. Like, when you really stop and think about it, I don't feel like I'm... Oh, okay. I forgot that there's the weird glitch of that move specifically. I don't feel like I'm wrong in saying that. Okay. So... Uh, I'm about Ben 10. Uh, Tuesday is obviously remastered reviews. I enjoy remastered reviews because I get to just sit back and play Skylanders and just talk about random nonsense like I'm doing now. And then the last lock I also enjoy because, like, while it's not difficult right now, I know that it's going to get difficult once we get to, like, what would it be, episode 6? Is that when we do the undead stuff? Oh, we might we might even lose someone to the falling forest because like I almost like during the roller block I almost lost stump smash in the falling forest during the boss fight so who knows <coughs> maybe maybe I'll maybe we'll lose some people which hey obviously I don't want to lose anyone like my aim is to not lose anyone as you would expect from a nuzzle but it does make good content if you lose people, so obviously I, I'm gonna feel sad if I lose them. But I don't expect to make it through the entire thing without at least one death. Um. Wait, what do I upload after that? Uh, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright, obviously great, great series. Um. I kind of wish I, I the first time I played it, I played it like blind. I played it like and recorded it instead of playing it on my own time. But I also don't because I feel like the series would have taken a bit too long. Like, as in like how I'd need to use a walkthrough is what I'm saying. Like, there's no way I can make it. I could do the series and not use a walkthrough because it's. It's difficult, you know, to, like, play Phoenix Wright. Like, I will admit, the first time I played Phoenix Wright, I did use a walkthrough. And I feel like most people do that, so I don't know why I'm ashamed to admit it. But, like, 
even though I love Phoenix Wright, it, it can be really BS sometimes and give you some stupid things that you just kind of have to guess what it is. But, uh, what's Friday? What do I do on Friday? Oh yeah, CPU showdowns. Um, CPU show- I know you guys haven't seen the CPU showdowns episodes yet. But, me, Game, and Q3, we've recorded the first one. I need to edit it, and hopefully it'll be out on Friday. I'm still deciding whether to make it a premiere, or just upload it. I might just upload it normally, because it's not really that important. However, it is just a fun... It's not, like, professional. It's not professional at all. There's not many cuts. There's not... You're like, you'll see, like, midway through the episode, I'm... I'm like, so should we do this heavily edited or something? And then Gabe's like, nah, just do it. Just don't, don't edit it as much. I was like, okay. Uh, I might die. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Okay, don't corner me. We're playing Skyland, it's not Phoenix right. Alright, just leave me alone. I'm actually like focusing now. Wrecking Ball might just die here. I killed one of them. I killed another one. And there we go. Alright. Now we need to go and get food. And hopefully not get hit by the elevator. Alright. What was I saying? Uh... That's not even talking about streams, like... I, I'm probably going to announce this, like, in a, in a formal video, but... I have moved my streams to YouTube instead of Twitch. Mainly because, like, Twitch is cool. I like Twitch. But, on YouTube, more familiar faces show up, I see more people, while on Twitch, I just kind of stream and then edit it a bit and then upload it, which is kind of boring. I'm still probably going to do that for, like, smash animated atrocities and whatever wins the Make Through Shine Game Night Deluxe. But, my point is, I don't... I feel like even though Twitch handles my streams better, I want to see if YouTube has like fixed anything up and maybe I can start streaming on YouTube again because I miss streaming on YouTube. I have good memories of streaming on YouTube. Uh, well, obviously when it didn't crash and stuff like that. But um, I'm really nervous right now because I don't want to replay the entire level. Um okay. Uh what do what do you guys what series do you guys want to cuz I've done a lot of series. And most of them have like the only series that I've ever finished is Naughty in the Magic Book, which I think is kind of funny. But like I've done a lot of unfinished series. So what series do you guys want to see me bring back as, like, a recorded videos? Great, great to know that healing did nothing for me. But like, I like the idea of bringing old series back, like Skylanders Reviews. There's Skylanders Re Remastered Reviews. So, but if there's any series that I've done that I haven't finished and you guys want to see, want to see it and I'm not currently doing them, then leave them in the comments and I might consider bringing them back. I know there's stuff like Q3's always telling me to do ukulele or Gabe's telling me to do Finding Nemo, so who knows. If I'm feeling it, then I'll, then I'll do it. Uh, 
uh, something that I've thought about. I'm sorry that I went to sign up for it, but I was thinking about something. Um, something that, I, that me, me and Gabe specifically have thought about is moving Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure from the Wobbly Gang channel to my channel. Mainly because the Wobbly Gang channel right now is like collabs. And like, sure, you could call it, you could call my Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. The Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure video is like collabs because. Even though I'm the only one playing it, there are other people talking in the background. But, like, we're not playing it together. It's just them watching me play it, which is just kind of what a lot of my what a lot of my stream series, at least, are or were on my on my channel. Right, I have an idea for healing. Can I do this? Can I just sit here and just eat this? Can Okay, well, can I just eat these guys? Okay, not if not if those draw witches are in the. Okay, I killed them. Never mind. Plan fail. Boo hoo. All right, just pop. Boom, boom, boom. You kind of see my plan with Wrecking Ball is just to spam the tongue attack. Maybe thinking about a better Wrecking Ball is not an, an 8 out of 10, maybe he's a 7. I still personally find him a bit better than Voodoo. Because like, I don't know, I just like him. Maybe his moveset's kind of lacking or something, but I just, him, like look at him, he's just bouncing around, having fun. I can appreciate him for that. Ah, yeah, healing item. That's that's why I need it. All right, let's deal with these with the, with these guys. All right, eat you, eat you, bop bop, bop you guys, eat you, bop again, eat you, bop. All right, everyone is dead. All right, that's the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Scounders Remastered Reviews. Um, Wrecking Ball, like I said, I oh, I don't know. I'd give him a low 8, like a 7.5 probably. I like him. He's fun. I definitely like him more than everyone else does. So, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, next episode, I'll tackle Voodoo and just talk about random nonsense, but with Voodoo. Um... I'll see you guys next time. I don't really know how to end this. Uh, bye.